Welcome to the Brinkman instructional video for the Trailmaster limited edition charcoal and wood grill and smoker. First, choose a good cleared assembly area and get a friend to help you put your grill together. Lay cardboard down to protect the grill finish and the assembly area. Turn the grill on its side to begin assembly. Remove the lid from the cooking chamber by removing the hinge screws and sliding the hinge pins on the lid out of the hinges on the cooking chamber. Attach one long leg and one wheel leg to the back side of the cooking chamber using the 8 M6 by 12 millimeter bolts with the M18 washers and M6 nuts. The wheel leg goes on the side of the cooking chamber with the firebox hole. Make sure that the holes for the wire rack face up. Next, insert the hook of the wire rack through the holes in the legs. Attach the remaining two legs by inserting the hooks of the wire rack through the holes in the legs and then attaching to the front side of the cooking chamber using 8 M6 by 12 mm bolts and 8 M6 nuts. Make sure that the wheel leg is on the side of the cooking chamber with the firebox hole. Now slide the wheel axle through the holes in the wheel legs. Attach wheels to the wheel axle using two M12 wheel axle nuts. Place the smokestack damper over the bolt at the top of the smokestack. Then place the smokestack damper spring over the bolt and tighten with the cap nut. Attach the smokestack to the cooking chamber using four M6 by 12 millimeter bolts and four M6 nuts. Insert the grease can holder through the hole inside the cooking chamber on the left side to hang under the cooking chamber. Now attach the front table by sliding pegs into the tracks on the cooking chamber. Next attach the handle to the cooking chamber using the four M6 by 12 millimeter bolts and four M6 nuts.
Attach the firebox bracket to the wheel legs using the two M6 by 12 millimeter bolts. Assemble the firebox by attaching the firebox top and the firebox bottom using six M6 by 12 millimeter bolts. Attach the firebox air shutter inside the firebox using one M6 by 12 millimeter bolt and one M6 nut. Attach the firebox lid stop to the firebox using one M6 by 12 millimeter bolt and one M6 nut. Now attach the firebox to the cooking chamber and firebox bracket using the eight M6 by 12 millimeter bolts and two M6 nuts. Attach the ashtray bracket to the firebox using six M6 by 12 millimeter bolts and six M6 nuts. Slide the ashtray into the ashtray bracket. Place three cooking chamber charcoal grates into the cooking chamber. Place three cooking chamber cooking grills over the charcoal grates. Then place the firebox charcoal grate into the firebox. And place two firebox cooking grills over the charcoal grate. Insert the thermometer into the hole in the cooking chamber lid. Attach the firebox lid handle to the firebox lid using two bolts and two nuts that came with the handle. Now attach the firebox lid and reattach the cooking chamber lid by sliding the hinge pins into the lid hinges on the cooking chamber and secure using four hinge screws.